a Carnegie Institution for Science audio press release, November 5th, 2009. Ken Caldera testifies to Congress on geoengineering. Ken Caldera is a scientist at the Carnegie Institution's Department of Global Ecology. He testified before the U.S. House of Representatives Committee on Science and Technology regarding whether global warming might be mitigated by a technological fix, following are excerpts of his testimony. Climate change poses a real risk to Americans. The surest way to reduce this risk is to reduce emissions of greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide. We can build a 21st century energy system based on solar and nuclear power. However, even if we decide to start building our 21st century energy system today, we will still face threats from climate change. The options we are discussing today can be divided into two categories with very different characteristics, solar radiation management approaches and carbon dioxide removal approaches. Solar radiation management methods seek to reduce the amount of climate change by reflecting some of the sun's warming rays back to space. Preliminary research suggests that we could rapidly and relatively cheaply put tiny particles high in the stratosphere and that this would cause the Earth to cool quickly. Nobody thinks these approaches will perfectly offset effects of carbon dioxide. For example, these methods do not address the problem of ocean acidification. In contrast, carbon dioxide removal approaches seek to reduce the amount of climate change and ocean acidification by removing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. There are two basic types of carbon dioxide removal methods. One is to use growing forests or other plants to store carbon in organic forms. The other is to use chemical techniques. With the exception of proposals to fertilize the oceans, carbon dioxide removal methods are unlikely to introduce new unprecedented risks, so cost is likely to be the primary consideration governing Solving our climate change problem is largely about cost-effective risk management. There are many different ways that risk might be diminished, and the most important of these is to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Lastly, we should try to understand whether thoughtful, intentional interventions into the climate system might be able to undo some of the damage that we are doing with our current inadvertent intervention. Dr. Caldera testified November 5, 2009. For more information, see our website at ciw.edu. This is John Strom for the Carnegie Institution.